Hi everybody, how are you doing? Well, I'm excited to be here because I'm pretty well at 30 days. I'm over 30 days on using only castor oil on my face. Now, for those of you that know me, I'm 74. Well, I'll be officially 74 in May, but I'm in my 74th year. So anyway, welcome if this is your first time. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, and um, I'm glad that you're here. Okay, um, <laughs> so much to say, so be patient. Yes, I have something right here behind me. These are <laughs> four bottles of castor oil. And I have, and you can see some of my other videos where I talk about castor oil and I've been sorting through it. And so I'm gonna share with you who the winner is, who's now going to be my forever bottle of uh, castor oil. And so trial and error and learning things, right, make us better. So I wanna share that with you. I'm also gonna share with you uh, a before and after of my knee. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit of story insight on that uh, when we get to that segment of this video. First, I wanna talk about my face. All right, when I said I was going to do this, I actually did commit for 30, 30 plus days. I think I'm about five weeks. Okay, so I do not use foundation. I do not use concealers. I never have. It's never been my thing. Um, you know, I'm just doing it the way I've always done it. I played around with it in my teens, but that's about it. I've, I've, I've never liked the feeling of foundation on my face. Okay, so just a little bit of background before I give you the whole castor oil thing. And, um, so, but I do absolutely love my bronzer, you guys. I'll probably never ever leave that because I love some color in my face. And I don't just use it here. I just give it a shh all over my face, okay? And of course, I love my mascara and I love my eyeshadow. So that's it as far as makeup or anything like that. You can't even, it's a kind of a makeup, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I use great skincare and I'm, Excited about that, I'm waiting for it to come. I'm out of it right now. Now, not all of it, but some of it. So I'm gonna share with you what skincare I've been using for the last, I think three and a half years now. So I will definitely be sharing with it with you all of that. But castor oil, like, could it make a difference for me, like at 74? <laughs> you better believe it did. All right, now funny enough, about a week ago, I was over visiting my youngest daughter. She's very close by. And she just happened just out of the blue say, you know, mom, your, your face, it's, it's got like a, it's got like a little like glow to it. And I, went, I said to her, oh, I haven't really noticed that. And I said, I wonder if it's my castor oil. Well, who knows? Well, you know, I watch a lot of my peers and one of the things that we all try to achieve and maintain is that we keep some plumpness, right? That we don't go totally hollow. And if you go back in some of my videos, I was really concerned about that because I started intermittent fasting. Mm, I've been a little bit naughty, but anyway. <laughs> and um, I was really losing a lot off my face. Like I was getting hollow. Anyway, um, so I just can't actually, I. You just gotta go back and check, right? Like see for yourself. And I was using this incredible device, which is no longer available. The company folded, it's called Lumo, and it's a radio frequency and red light therapy, which I really love. But I did not use this for a whole month. I put it to the side. Now I must admit, I did use their eye, the Venus. I do keep using that because I love it so much. I need it for my eyes. Okay, so my face, is a lot plumper. It was so interesting. I needed to research a little bit because I didn't know this about castor oil. You know, like I was introduced to it in 1975, April, know the month exactly, but under the doctor's orders, I am not a doctor, I'm not a physician, and not a naturopath. It's just me, Lady. Um, but he had told me at the time to take two tablespoons to see if I could induce the labor of my baby that was overdue and it didn't work. <laughs> a few other things worked, but that didn't because you know, castor oil is also a natural, uh, uh, you know, get the bowels moving. So anyway, so that was my first introduction. I had a big ball of it. It's always been in, in the cabinet and every now and then just the same as maybe a you know, some Vaseline or whatever, I would put it on my skin and 
It's great. I would love putting it on my on my legs, but especially my arms. Especially my arms. I could really, you know, really see that it was taking care of the crepey skin. Okay. So I thought, okay, a whole a whole month of nothing else but castor oil, and I did. I did wash my face really well every morning and every night and I would put on my castor oil. Now I put it on my hands and I just kind of dab it all in. I get a little more aggressive in the neck. I put more and massage it into my neck. And I usually use it for my exercises, my face exercises, especially the jowls. Okay, so I have noticed, well, I have crow's feet and I think it really has helped with my crow's feet. I don't think they are as deep as they were. So that has, I think, made a difference. But more than anything, I see some plumpiness in here. Like I've never done just, you know, I don't do anything. And it has definitely given me some plumpiness. But the other thing, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, which is from the 60s laying on the beach, you know, that itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini and a lot of sunshine, a lot of baby oil and iodine. Lightened the hyperpigmentation, but I also think it's lightened and brightened my skin itself. So, you know, like I am really, really, really impressed. Now, all, this is all I've got on because I still, like I said, I still don't have my skincare and I don't wear makeup. So I actually did put on the um, castor oil and then I left my skin for about 20 minutes and then I put my bronzer over top so I could come and make this video for you. So I have definitely see, seen a difference. You know, um, I had, uh, well, what makes it so powerful? Well, you know, it's an anti-inflammatory it's got the antioxidants and that was really important when I was going through what castor oil I should get because how thing how castor oil is processed is really important that you max on you know are you getting the maximum of the power of the castor oil so that's why I'm going to make that reveal to you in a few minutes and then the pain relieving that it, it has those properties and for me, I, oh, I don't like to say it. I do have osteoarthritis, but you know what? It really hasn't been bothered. It's, I've been so good with it. So to me, I'm, I'm cured. <laughs> okay, this is personal, right? I'm going, my osteoarthritis is like, it's just not bothering me like it used to. And I do actually give credit to that, to the castor oil because I have really been paying attention ever since I found out all these wonderful things about the castor oil. It wasn't just something that was sitting in my cupboard, is I've really been paying attention to the joints and my wrists and my knees. And I'm gonna show you my knees, okay? I'm gonna do it before and after here. Also 30 days ago, I thought, you know, I'm just rubbing it on my legs, kind of, you know, ch -ch -ch, putting it in my arms, ch -ch -ch. but I have a massive scar on my head, a total knee replacement. Three years later, they had to go back in and do a do a. It was a it was it it was more than a revision. It it was the fourth time my surgeon had done that particular surgery, and we had to wait a year to get permission to to do it. And so they had to go back in and open it all up. And um, anyway, so I have a pretty massive scar on my left knee, like over, and. And also that leg is, that knee is always like really, really swollen. Okay, so you know what? A picture is worth a thousand words. So I thought I'm really going to every day put like really load up on the castor oil on that scar, like not really pay attention. So I want, oh my gosh, you guys, like look at this. That's a, like, can you see the difference? I hope you can. It's starting to close, scar is actually closing up in a couple of spots. And it, 
is not as red and inflamed looking anymore. I mean, it's hard to get the perfect lighting like the, on the before and after, but I hope you can see it. It's making a huge difference, but I love that it's actually even taken some of the swelling down. So I'm thinking some of the inflammation and so forth that's going on in that knee all the time is getting some healing from the castor oil. So what else? Let's get to, let's get to the bottle, the magic, the gold. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's like uh, what they say, nature's Botox. I believe it is. I mean, I believe it is. All right. I had quite a dilemma about it. And this is another thing that came up over and over again is it's so sticky. And I talked about it. And then a lot of you gals said you put it with another oil and you, you, you use another carrier in order to for it to glide on a lot easier onto your skin. I put it on just as it is. I really don't have a problem with with it. Now, maybe because I apply it right after my sh shower and my skin is very moist still, you know, you dry off but it has that moist feeling and I'm thinking that's why it saturates into my skin really quickly and I, like my arms, got they, they feel fine. Okay, well, you, a lot of you are using a carrier. Now, this is what you might wanna think about. I think if you're using an oil and some of you are talking about frankincense and aloe vera and coconut, I wouldn't put coconut on my face, but I'd have no problem putting it on my body. But I thought, okay, I, that's I think mean, that's awesome because some of those other oils like frankincense are supposed to be unbelievable. Now with moisturizer, I would be very cautious. I would use my personal, like the moisturizer I use for my face, which I will share with you when I do my uh, sh share of that with you, um, is, is organic, it's pure, it's got no chemicals, chemicals in it, it's got nothing. So if you're using another carrier, make sure if it's a lotion of some sort, make sure that you have a full understanding of what's in it. Like, is it, you know, like some of them have perfumes, some of them may have put in something that, you know, is not all that great that it's carried right through through the dermis and you know into your body so if you want to try to stay organic make sure that you, the carrier you're using is organic too that's just common sense i am not the wizard of castor oil all right castor oil i knew when i i had the drugstore that's all i've ever had is drugstore until i started learning all of this and i went that is not good enough this this one here is our drugstore brand. And actually it says, it's basically telling you it's a great laxative. That's it. And do not, yeah, it, it's, it gives you a dosage and, uh, and this says nothing about your skin or using it anywhere else. So, but I was using it on my skin. Anyway, so what's next? All right. I had another bottle before this one, and this one is uh, very nice. It's it's organic, it ticks all the boxes, but it's in plastic. Now think about it. Because uh, you know what, I was actually saying, you know what, so, so it's in plastic, so when I get it, I'll just pour it into glass. I No, I, more research, I went, no, I'm not going to do that. I need to have it in glass. And this one is chemical free and it's uh, it's cold pressed and it's organic and it's uh, and it's certified organic. So it takes all the boxes, but no glass. And I'm like me, all of a sudden I'm going, if I got really excited because I found this one and it's um, Canada is made in Canada. This as well is certified organic. I loved it. But this one here is expel your pressed and even though it takes all the boxes, but it's not cold pressed. So if I'm going to slather my body in it and get the max, I want to make sure that I, as many of the anti antioxidant, bleh, antioxidants uh, that castor oil has, I want to make sure that I keep the max. And the cold press process versus the expeller process is a little bit different. And so that's why it doesn't say cold press. So if it's cold press, that means there's no heat or minimal heat to get the most antioxidants 
in the castor oil. That's my understanding. It's just my opinion, okay? I um, like I say, I use this for a long time. It's I love that it was glass. And I would rather use an expellier processed castor oil uh, than one in a plastic bottle. So that one I was really, really happy with. And then I thought, well, you know what? I mean, I'm a girl. Why can't I have it all? <laughs> So especially at 74, I should have it all by now, right? So this is now, this this is the one that, okay, so this is the winner, is it? Well, <laughs> so many of you, so many of you told me this is the castor oil to get. And so I ordered it. And you know what? It doesn't tick all the boxes. For me, it's a personal choice, okay? Because like I just said, I really want cold pressed because cold pressed just maxes out on everything. It takes nothing away in the processing of the oil. And I know a lot of you said, and I was excited to get it because I got it the next day and that I would get the queen of the thrones and I got it. But you know what, you guys, it's not cold pressed. It's expeller pressed. I'll Sorry. keep it. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to order the other one. And when I get the other one, now the other one I'm going to get sometime in mid-March, but I will share it with you because it does tick all of the boxes. I'm going to get a little less in the bottle, but it's also $6 less. So I'll share that with you. But boy, here I thought I really got it right. And no, I didn't, but I'm going to use it anyway because it is organic and it is in a glass bottle, which I'm really, 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 really glad about because everything I've learned about castor oil, I think that is really important. That's probably more important right now than whether it's cold pressed. So there we go. So you guys, thank you for being here. And um, I try not to make it too long because I know some of you said, oh, just get to the point. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there were some really not very nice people. <laughs> I was surprised in the comments. Now, um, Yes, I, I. if you want the facts, I guess, or uh, you need to just, you have a question, go to Google. Just Google, put it in the search engine, snap, and you've got it. You want a personal conversation about what my experience was, then you're in the right place. Remember, if we're leaving comments or we're having a conversation, my dad taught me many, many years ago is, can we please agree to disagree with respect? because we don't want to lose friends and we don't want to make enemies. So let's be respectful. Thank you. Have a great day and see you soon. Please give me a like on this uh, video if you liked it. And of course, subscribe, stay, stay with us, hang out. Okay, guys. And remember the most important thing is there is no future in our past. Leave it where it is and keep dreaming and looking forward. Love you. Bye.